Is Janine slipping? It seems so, because she finally decides to trust Alice when she sticks up for her. But Alice immediately lets Michael in to see Scarlett. He steals Janine's credit card, then orders some pills and sets a plan in motion. He encourages Alice to help Janine throw a 30th party so they can slip out of the country with Scarlett. Michael persuades Alice to slip the pills in Janine's drink and plant the remainder in the house, but he frames Alice by putting the receipt in her bag. Alice does as suggested, but it dawns on him Michael's trying to get her to kill Janine. Is Alice really so pliable? The Branding girls are struggling with Max under lock and key, while Ian is coming apart, worried about his upcoming court date. In a moment of candour, he tells Peter he lied and his son urges him to come clean, although Lucy says he has to stick to his story to save the business. Meanwhile, Lauren feels forced into an alliance with David to keep the car lot going, and she and Abby back Kirsty when Cora wrongly accuses her of thieving. Next is Coronation Street. Seconds out, it's Tina versus Tracy. After Dennis tells Tina he sold Rita's ring to Rob and Tracy, and she tries to buy it back with her surrogacy cash. Rob does sell it back to her, but way over the odds, and Tina vows revenge, especially after Tracy reveals to Rita that Dennis had sold it. Peter's impressed by Tina when she tells Rob she'll make Tracy pay if she ever pulls a stunt like that again, then later plants knickers in Rob's car. Tracy's furious when she finds them and has a bust up with Tina, who's unrepentant after she smashes the shop window, while Tracy makes the damage worse to improve the insurance payout. Haley and Roy are still at loggerheads over her request that he helps her die at a time of her choosing, but he rushes to her side when she collapses. It's nothing more than a bacterial infection, but the scare brings them back together, though she's insistent she won't change her mind about her death. And David begs Gail to let him see Lily and Max, but she can't forgive him and tells him to take his things and go. Kylie, however, is not so stubborn and lets him see Lily, but will she take him back? Last, we pop into Emmerdale. Kane is ready to do anything to help Moira retain the farm, and he soon approaches a dodgy character, Marcus, in the search of more cash. Kane's nervous when he finds out where the job is, and when Moira calls to say she loves him and doesn't want him to change, he backs out of it. When he returns, he proposes to Moira again, but that is stirred before she can answer. One of the gang has stumbled, shot, into the house. They call Vanessa to remove the bullet from the guy's shoulder, but Moira won't listen to Kane when he tells her not to get more involved. Patty has decided to tell Rona about Chaz, but backs off when she has a wobble, while she snubs Vanessa when she returns to the house. Chaz puts the acid on Patty, and eventually he confesses to Rona. She's stunned, but her cold response alarms him. Is this going to blow up later? <laughs>